well here's the process this is what a majority of my floor looked like it just crumbled when uh, you hit it with a shovel some of it was uh, in bigger slabs so I had to jackhammer it up that has what that's what's been removed yesterday um, probably I kept getting interrupted I had to go fix a hose on my back hole that was that was out being rented and uh, but yeah this is probably four straight hours of removal um, like I said I kept getting interrupted so it's kind of hard to tell I mean I worked all day on it but it's like I didn't work all day straight so yeah the conveyor belts are set up in that window had to remove the window that used to be a doorway you see there's stairs behind that conveyor and then we took the doorway out and then put a window uh, the plan is is to uh, eliminate that doorway block up that hole and then put an egress there where it's marked in red I just uh, I need to remove this concrete that's that's in shambles and if you look over here at the carpet it's got a hump in it so yeah that's got to come out too so yeah this is the process shovel it up into buckets take them over to the conveyor conveyor goes up to the dump truck dump truck is full and right now it's just going into my my backhoe is back so it's going into the bucket on the backhoe and then i'm going to stockpile it and then we'll load it in the dump truck when the dump truck gets back from being empty but i'm still working on where that's going because the landfill now charges for concrete refuse and I'm um, looking at another option because one one dump truck load is like two hundred dollars to take it to the landfill so I'm looking at another option that it would be free so until that I'm just gonna stockpile it or just have to bite the bullet and pay the 200 bucks I don't know well we'll see all right so when I get one of these full I'll uh, I'll show you how to over there.